How kind of you. Oh. 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 <laughs> so nice to have you back here, hello, Jessica. Hello, hello. You look wonderful. Well. You know, you have had the most incredible career. An incredible career, yeah. really. I mean, well, one of the, I, I would say, the top three actresses in our country. No wow. question. Yeah. Yeah. Emmys, Golden Globes, Oscars. And you started in 1976. I did. And you're still cooking. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are. I'm on the dessert course now. So. You know, a lot of times we talk on this show about the industry and how it's filled with sexism and harassment and, mm -hmm. ageism. you know, ageism and everything else. And do you think things have changed at all? in the years you've been in the business? I suppose in certain areas, but there are others. I mean, I think ageism exists. It's just, it, it, you know, that, that's just nature. Mm -hmm. I mean, the parts thin out. Um, Not for the men, though. Yeah, it's a little different for the boys. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. It is, yeah, yeah. yeah. This uh -oh. movie, I, The Irishman, Scorsese movie, has all these old guys in it, and it's I a big know. hit. I know. I know. And they also, in the movie, they all look younger, too, which is really... <laughs> uh, they go back to what they looked like when they were 30. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's nice <laughs> for them. Um, <laughs> but, no, I think ageism is a problem. It, it, it just is. Mm -hmm, the parts mm -hmm. thin out. There aren't that many roles written. And, you know, when there is something that comes along, oftentimes it's... You know, it used to be somebody's mother, now it's somebody's grandmother. <laughs> so it's a, but yes, I think things have gotten better just because the consciousness has been raised about these issues. Uh, there's nothing you can do about ageism. You can do something about sexism. You can do something, but you know, ageism, that's just nature. Well, you so. make it look very good. And yeah. you have mm -hmm. two young granddaughters. I do. What, what advice do you give them? What stories do you tell them about your life that might be able to help them? I don't tell them all my stories. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, we talk about, you know, uh, I mean, they understand, you know. I mean, the, uh, for me, what was important in my life was the independence and this sense of adventure and um, saying yes more than I ever said no. Mm. Um, and, is that you a good know, thing? Yes, I think it is a good yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah you yeah. know, instead of... Why be timid about life, you know? Right. Might as yeah. well just go for it. And I mean, uh, so I think they understand that. And like, uh, you know, the, I see them doing the same thing. One, do, one granddaughter is in the circus oh, and really? is a That's circus performer. Great. And yeah. the other- what, is, what kind of circus? It's a children's uh, circus, but mm -hmm. they go on tour and she's very powerful and independent. And my other granddaughter is equally independent <laughs> wow. and brilliant and yeah, so. But they, oh. n that didn't necessarily just, I mean, it came from parents and it yeah. came from, you know, growing up in this time mm -hmm. and, yeah.